Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're interested in vocal technique, pick up my ebook called Becoming a Natural Singer. If you need one-on-one -on -one help, book a lesson via my website or drop me an email, links in the description. So vowels, I've covered this a few times and I'm covering it again. And there's, there's a reason for it. I got this email and it just kind of highlighted for me the confusion. Very simple. Hey Carl, do you think we can sing on pure, on belt, pure oo and e vowels in head voice without modifying? And this is a typical kind of question I get about vowels. And it's often along the lines of, well, this coach says one thing, you say another, or this coach says one thing, this coach says another. Who's correct? I'm going to say this and be very clear. Any coach that's telling you that there is a one-size-fits-all solution to vowels is incorrect, and you shouldn't listen to them. Simple as that. The answer to the problem of vowels is always it depends. It depends on the skill of the singer, it depends on how much independence they have between the muscle groups. It depends on how much strength they have in the muscle groups. It depends how much overall broad understanding they have of the technique in general. These three things count for a hell of a lot. What I mean by that is this. The most exciting singers are the singers who are closest to yelling without hurting themselves. They are closest to yelling, but in a way that is spinning and free and balanced. This is the, the paradox of voice coaching is we're trying to help singers sing in a safe way. But contrary to that, the singers we like the most sing in a dangerous way or close to the line dangerous. The best singers who last the longest get very close to that line, but they don't cross it very often. And the singers who we don't want to listen to who are boring sing very safe, sing very clean on the technique but it's just a bit boring. It's not quite there, yeah? So the challenge is, how do we get as close as we can without breaking the rules? And this conversation about vowels is key because the singers we like sing wide open through the bridge and they seem to do it in a way that's free. They don't seem to pull or push like we do when we try and do it. Well, that's because they've got more independence in the muscle groups, more strength in the muscle groups, more broader understanding of, of singing technique in general than, than, than I or you have. And we need to value that. It's not as simple as just saying, ah, do this and it will fix it. There's a broader problem underneath vowels that is, it depends. So if you're a beginner, for example, if you're just learning technique, Yes, you need to close the vowels down. You need to keep them under control because as soon as you open up, you will yell. However, as you get to a more intermediate stage, you get a bit more understanding the technique. You get a bit more sense of, ah, okay, I can kind of open up as long as I keep it in control. Can't open up too much though. I still got to keep it somewhat closed. And as you get more skilled to a more advanced level, you're able to open up more and get closer to that boundary and really push what is physically possible for the mechanism without losing balance. So when somebody sends me a short email asking about vowels, I'm asking myself, well, where are you at? Because unless I know, unless I sit down with you for 40 minutes, an hour and work with you, I can't answer this question in all honesty. I can tell you what's generally true or what's ultimately true. What's ultimately true is as we get better at the technique, we understand that both different compression levels and vowels in combination have various limits. And we can either choose to stay pure and push on that, but if it's too much, we might have to narrow it down and make certain compromises at certain points. But we're only gonna really understand those physical, or true physical limits when we get to the very end of technique, when we get to mastery. For most of us, yes, we're gonna to have to close things down a bit, keep things under control and mediate between where we wanna be and where we are and try and get to a good result in the shorter term and also think about what is the longer term solution to vowels. So I can't answer this question, but what I can say, or I can answer it, but like, like you've seen, it's a complicated answer. But what I can say is this, 90% of the coaches out there who give you a one size fits all vowel solution, 
they aren't understanding the broader context that I just put across in this video. So the key for you as a singer, as a learning singer is this, is you've got to figure out where you're at with your skill set. You've got to figure out how much independence do I have between the muscle groups? How much strength do I have? How much confidence do I have in my understanding in the, uh, of, the, of the technique as a whole? In the technique of the technique as a whole. You understand that through doing a lot of work on your voice, whether it's with coaches or on your own, or a mixture of, of both, ideally. But the only way you're going to understand what solution fits for you right now is to put the work in and start figuring it out. Because each person's going to be a little bit different. You've got to figure out where you're at, and then you've got to figure out, okay, what's good for me? How much do I need to close this vowel down to stop it from pushing through, from getting distorted, from yelling, from getting out of control. And as you get better and better, you can get closer and closer to that line. You're still going to cross it from time to time. Many times recently, I've had periods where I'm like, yeah, man, I'm just, I'm getting a little bit too out of control, a little bit too wild. I need to just taper it in a little bit. It's very normal for singers. You're always moving and drifting. Yeah, no matter how good you get, you're drifting a little bit too far away from the technique a little bit too safe, and we've got this motion, this undulation. Now, as you get further and further away from good technique, that undulation gets bigger and bigger, and we're always looking for this center. As we get better and better, we get tiny, tiny undulations in, our, in, our, in where we're drifting towards and away from. But the, the overall sense is this, is we're all trying to figure out what vowels can I sing on and stay free and stay released. And the solution to that really is different for every individual if you're talking about the details. Even talking broadly, it's going to be different relative to roughly where your skill set's at. So this probably isn't the answer that people want to hear. <laughs> this probably isn't the information that people want about vowels because they want a one-size-fits-all solution. And there isn't one. I can't get it across in this video and it would be doing a disservice really to people that are genuinely wanting to learn about their voice and how to get better at it to, to put that across to you. It's just not true. You've got to figure out where you're at. You've got to get good. And as you do, you will understand the broader context I'm talking about here. Anyway, guys, hit me up in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about vowels, your solutions for your voice or broader solutions for singers in general. Do you think I'm on the money here? Subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. I'll catch you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.